Moshe Fela of Minnesota, Chabad rabbi, who was telling this to a group of other rabbis. He said, two or three years ago, there was a, a young couple that came to him on Shabbos, and they said, Rabbi, we don't know a lot about Judaism, and we'd like to learn more. Well, actually, she'd like to learn more. I was born a Jew. She's not Jewish. And um, our story is that we want to get married. We love each other. We told our parents we love each other. And my parents are totally secular, never went to shul, never taught me anything about Judaism, and they freaked out when I told them I was going to marry a shiksa. And so my fiancé said, no problem, I'll convert. So we went to get a reform conversion, but the rabbi wasn't very serious. We went to get a conservative conversion. You know, my fiancé said, if we're going to do it, let's do it the right way. Let's get a real conversion. Let's go to Chabad rabbi and get a real conversion. And so we hear, we hear rabbi. So the rabbi said, no problem. He, they arranged a time to meet during the week. And uh, the fiancé comes in, and he says to her, Listen, I want you to know, converting to Judaism is not like learning to drive a car or play the flute. This is not uh, just a little hobby you're going to learn here. This is a whole lifestyle change. Everything, every aspect of your life is going to change. And she said, I know. This is what I want to do. So she started learning about Judaism, and sure enough, after a few months of learning Torah and mitzvot, she goes to her fiancé and she says, what kind of Jew are you? So what are you talking about? He says, I learned about, she says, I learned about Shabbos, and I learned about tefillin, and I learned about keeping kosher, and you don't do any of that. What kind of Jew are you? He said, oh, sweetheart, please, please. You listen to the rabbi, and you take the exam, and you pass, and then you don't have to do any of that stuff. There are lots of Jews like me. We don't keep any mitzvot. We don't care about that stuff. It's old stuff. It's ancient stuff. It's not for us anymore. Well, this woman was very serious. And she said to her fiancé, If that's who you are, I'm not interested in marrying you. And she broke off the marriage. Sure enough, many months later, she finishes her conversion. And for those of you that don't know, the way a conversion works is the convert goes to the mikvah, dips in the mikvah, and when it comes to a woman, the way they do it is there's a beit din of three rabbis. The woman turns her back towards the door. She dips in the mikvah. They call on the rabbis. They look for one second to make sure that her head is completely under the water, and they leave the room. And just as the rabbis left the room, they started hearing screaming, hysterical screaming. And Rabbi Feller thought, God forbid, something had happened to this woman. And they started wondering, what are we supposed to do? And then all of a sudden they heard what she was screaming, I'm a Jew! I'm a Jew! And she was jumping up and down, screaming for joy that she was a Jew. And at this point, Rabbi Feller finishes his story, and he says to his fellow rabbis, and I say to my fellow Jews, this woman was a Jew for one minute, and she was screaming and jumping with joy and dancing. And look at us. We've been Jews our whole lives. Why aren't we as happy? Because it's so easy to forget the gift God gave us when he made us Jews. Hey, nine, nine, nine.